Hi everyone and welcome to this Dollar Tree project collaboration. This project was put together by Nicole who is 334 Bama Girl here on YouTube. She invited Wani of Wani's house to invite some of her buddies to participate in this collaboration. So basically you went to Dollar Tree, you spent $5 on your five items, you made something for your home, and you had to show how you used it and what we had to have in common was using hot glue to put it together. So watch my journey of how I came up with, with my project. I had an exchange or two in there, but look and see what my final project was. I love myself some cake stands and cake domes and I have plenty of those. This Dollar Tree challenge was a little bit tough for me. So I am both excited and nervous to show you my project. I had a list when I first uh, was invited to this collaboration. I had a list of projects that I was thinking I could do based on what I always see and I mean always see at every Dollar Tree I go to in my area. But it seems like when I started um, you know, going down my list of projects that I would like to do, it became so hard to find the pieces. So finally, you know, it gave me time though to really look at my house and really see some of the things I would really like to have. So by saying that, let me show you what I made. I decided to make cloches. I figured I could sit them on any of my cake plates and make it work. And they would be so cute and add a little stylish flair to it. Um, you could always cut the top off on the top of these and then form them into like the bell shape But I didn't want to do that I wanted to do my own take on it and since the challenge was basically you go to Dollar Tree you spend five dollars and you work You know the thing we would have in common was the hot glue um, That that's what I decided to go with so look at my Pieces what I did was bought three three of these trash cans. Of course, you see they're flipped upside down I bought a set of the service were that um, the two um, serving spoon and fork um, Set for a dollar and then I bought a package of the 12 utensils all in this silver look and Basically, I layered and hot glued to make this set You can see my service where I love bling so on this piece I did go and put a piece of bling Hold on one second guys, just hold on one okay, minute guys, I had to stop and keep it real and put a piece of bling, which is just an old piece of um, junk jewelry, which um, you can use whatever you want, but I just had to put a piece of junk jewelry on it because I wanted it to be a blingy set. So as you can see, I actually layered my utensils. So I hot glued like the back of this down to here to the basket which was hard because of course it's netted so it doesn't have a solid surface to glue it on and so I put some glue on the back and then of course I like crisscrossed and layered them for the effect that they have okay and then with my utensils up top I wanted to do something neat I didn't have, of course I didn't have a lot of money to work with because all we had was uh, the five dollar budget so I wanted to use up everything that I had so what came in handy was my trusty lighter so what I did was I manipulated these utensils I'm sorry my family is up so um, if you hear anybody in the background or me slapping anybody that that's what it's gonna be my husband getting slapped but um so this is a fork and all I did was heated the utensil and um, then I was able to manipulate it of course and fold it up and uh, different things like that. So this is how it worked out. I used spoons on these and so you can lift them up by the spoon and I thought that worked out really good. I'm really proud of myself because I was wondering if that was even going to work out. And then for the middle one I decided to try in my hand at melting a knife. And um, I made these little platforms on the side or little bins so that it would sit flat. And it was easy to do on the spoon but on the knife of course I had to you know level it off on the sides. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how these turned out and I'm going to show you guys how I'm using them. Okay guys, this is the way that I'm using my cloches that I made. As you can see in this one, wouldn't this be a nice setup? You got some like a light salad plate there or a small dinner plate. And then you have dessert here 
and I love putting these plates in. These are like some vintage plates I found at a thrift store a long time ago and they're like my favorite. But they're under that one. And then under this one, some little coffee cups. And I hope you can see because it's I had to record at night. Um, so it's kind of got a little shadow there. But there are some um, little coffee cups and saucers. And then the little teapot there. So there you go. That's my setup. I hope you guys enjoy this. I really had fun with this project. It was a little... This was a very stressful project. I will say that. Because um, I was you know trying to think of how it would come out you know because sometimes you have something in your mind and it doesn't necessarily come out that way but I paired them up with some of my vintage silver um, cake plates and I think they look great on those especially I just love this one okay guys so I hope you enjoy God bless and thanks so much for watching thanks Wani and thanks 334 Bama girl thank you so much